tie last night and they'll replay tomorrow night. Meanwhile in England, Glenn Hoddle and Mark Haley had an unhappy homecoming when Monaco went down 3-0 at Aston Villa. On the international front, as expected, Liverpool's Steve McMahon is the only newcomer in England's squad for next week's friendly in Tel Aviv against Israel, whilst the <clears throat> Edinburgh rivals John Collins of Hibs and John Cahoon of Hearts are in line to win their first caps for Scotland in Saudi Arabia. Still no confirmation, though, this morning on Brian Clough taking over the Welsh national side. Uh, more talks, we're told, are expected today. Well, tonight's football is dominated by the third meeting of Everton and Middlesbrough as they battle for a fifth round place in the FA Cup. Some snooker news this morning and Dean Reynolds is through to the final of the English Professional Championship in Ipswich. He beat Joe Johnson 9-8 and will now meet either Neil Folds or Barry West, uh, the pair of them playing today. Well, also today, the finals of the Carlsberg English National Badminton Championships, which takes place at uh, Crawley, of course. No upsets with the men. Top seeds Darren Hall and Steve Butler will fight it out there, but the women's favourites all fell by the wayside, leaving surprise finalists Sarah Halsall and Sally Podger to battle it out today. And moving on to the racing, or rather, I'm afraid, the lack of it once again. Uh, Carlisle bit the dust, you probably know, at the weekend, and we've just heard, literally just heard, that Warwick has failed the early morning inspection there. They've just come off the course, and I'm afraid that meeting is off. Uh, that brings the total to 64 meetings, would you believe, that have been abandoned so far this season, but still not quite as bad, uh, you'll be delighted to hear, as the middle of February a couple of years ago, we've been doing our research, and over 80 meetings were lost to the weather then. So once again, I'm afraid we're going to have to turn to the dogs for our tip this morning. And that's Pretty Mary, which runs from Trap 3 in the 10 o'clock at Walthamstow. That's Pretty Mary, Trap 3, 10 o'clock at Walthamstow. So the best of luck with that. I hope you win some money. Gary, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Trish Williamson is back with us from the States. She returned yesterday. She has an icy blast for the national press. Trish. Thanks a lot, Richard, and a good morning to you. And I wish it was a good morning. It's not just the sports that have had to turn to the dogs this morning. The weather has really gone to the dogs. There's a very severe storm out in the Atlantic. It's at 57 degrees north, 15 degrees west, and it's tracking in an easterly direction. Now, this is going to bring with it gale force winds in the southern part of the British Isles, and up in Scotland, they are going to be storm force. That means, on average, around about 65, 70 miles an hour. And in the southern half of the British Isles, they're going to average about 45 miles an hour. Now, within those constant winds, there are going to be gusts that may well exceed 100 miles an hour. Now, if we compare it to the storm we had in October, it is going to be more extensive. Everywhere in the British Isles is going to feel the effects of the storm, but hopefully it is not going to be so intensive. In other words, there are not going to be such strong winds and the structural damage is not going to be so widespread. The storm at the moment is coming into the western and southwestern parts of the country. By midday, it will have worked across the southeast part of England. The centre of the storm is actually centred over Scotland. As you can see, a lot of rain and snow with the storm. There will be a few sunny intervals, but a lot of rain in between. But the wind is the main feature of the day. Let's move on this afternoon and see how the temperatures associated with this storm are going to fare. They look relatively high, more or less the same as yesterday, but because of these strong winds, it's going to feel a lot chillier. And as you can see, more sleet and rain being introduced with those storms. The winds are going to be westerly and they're going to change to northwesterly by this evening. So uh, if it is at all possible, do stay indoors today. That's all for now. Back to Richard. Of course, if you're going to work, that isn't possible. Uh, that's, in fact, uh, the newspaper headline that perhaps uh, Trish, I thought, might make mention to. It's bad, but not quite as bad as all that. High noon hurricane. Thanks, Trish. At 7.31 is the time. Stay with us. Batman and Robin just around the corner. At 8 o'clock this morning, uh, Good Morning Britain, Part 2, with Anne Diamond and Mike Morris on the agenda, the National Health Service, and at the outspoken American phone-in hostess, Nancy Roberts. Right now, the latest national and international news from Adrian Brown in Washington and Gordon Honeycomb in London. Gordon. Thank you, Richard. Hello, good morning. In America, Senator Robert Dole has won the first stage of the 1988 presidential race by gaining the Iowa Republican caucus vote. But in a major upset, the former television evangelist Pat Robertson has beaten Vice President George Bush into third place. Richard Gephardt was the Democratic winner. Adam Bolton reports from Iowa. Front-runner Senator Dole's White House hopes are obviously boosted by his victory here, while third place is a serious setback for the vice president. But proof of Pat Robertson's vote-pulling power is bad news for both. No front-runner among Democrats. Local favourite Dick Gephardt won, but Senator Simon and national favourite Governor Dukakis weren't far behind. 
Pat Robertson's emergence as a significant force plunges the Republicans into as much uncertainty as the Democrats. The White House race is still wide open. Adam Bolton, TVAM, Iowa. A severe storm predicted by weathermen yesterday is now affecting parts of Britain. Winds of up to 80 miles an hour have already hit Western Ireland. Forecasters say that the worst weather will affect Northern Ireland, Wales, the Midlands and the north of England at about midday. They say the winds could cause as much damage as the October storm which killed 18 people. Union leaders are predicting that nearly all Ford's factory production in Europe will be halted by the end of the week. A component shortage caused by the strike in Britain will halve Escort and Orion output in West Germany, and in Belgium 2,000 workers are being laid off from today. The Austrian president, Kurt Waldheim, is vowing to stay in office following an investigation by historians into his wartime record. The commission concluded that he wasn't directly involved in Nazi war crimes, but that he did know about them. The Soviet leader's new offer to begin withdrawing Russian troops from Afghanistan in May has been given a cautious welcome by the Americans. The offer is conditional on Afghanistan and Pakistan agreeing to a Soviet-approved peace plan by next month. More widespread violence has marked the start of a third month of unrest in the Israeli-occupied territories. A Palestinian demonstrator was killed in the clashes, sparked off by the death at the weekend of a 15-year-old boy. His family say he was beaten to death by Israeli troops. In West Germany, accident investigators are trying to discover what caused yesterday's air crash in which all 21 people on a commuter flight died. Eyewitnesses said the plane was struck by lightning before it crashed near Dusseldorf. Finally, the Pet Shop Boys are celebrating today after being named Britain's Best Group in the Record Industry's 1988 awards. Best Male Artist was former Wham! star George Michael, with Alison Moyet topping the female poll. Best British Single Award went to Rick Astley's Never Going to Give You Up, and Sting's Nothing Like the Sun was voted Top Album. That's the news. It's 7.35. Trish. Thank you very much indeed, Gordon. And, of course, there'll be more news at 8 o'clock. But right now, it's time all you Bat fans have been waiting for Batman and the Boy Wonder. <laughs> Tree bomb mints are a minty bit stronger. Oh, we're spearmen! Yeah, 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 yeah. Tree bomb mints are a minty bit stronger. Tree bomb mints are a minty bit stronger. Whisk automatic. A thick, concentrated liquid detergent which goes deep into your wash with a deep, penetrating power to work through and through the fibers. Getting your clothes really clean. Returning them all to you. Cleaner and brighter. Whisk Automatic. Deep cleaning power for all your wash. Hello, Miss Walton. Hello, Miss Walton. The advantage of shopping at your local Vantage chemist is that as well as friendly service, you get Vantage products. Quality you can trust, prices you'd rather pay. You know they'd rather be with me. A is for alpha, B is for bites. See for yourself that they taste just right. D is for dinner, E is for eggs. Lettuce so tasty from A through to Z. Crisp golden potato and fluffy inside. Oven baked, grilled or fried. Made by bird's eye, you can't buy better. And called alpha bites, cause each one's a letter. Oh, I wish I had a brain. I wish I had a heart. I wish I had c c c c c Courage? No, a c-club. If you like a 
lot of chocolate on your biscuit, John R. Club. Take a club. <laughs> All that thick real chocolate drives me wild. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. If you'd like to clean those hard-to-reach back teeth, either get a flip-top head or get a reach toothbrush from Johnson & Johnson. Susie's been shouting too much about the rolling rat stickers and transfers in Trio. Sounds like we're gonna need a stand-in. Stickers! Cool. Transfers! Movie. I want those stickers of a superstar now. Yeah. There's a Roland Rat sticker with transfers in every special pack of... Trio! If you don't want to spend all day cleaning and shining, here's something worth trying. It's a liquid called... Well, you can see what it's called. It cleans and shines without any rinsing your floors, worktops, leaving everything shiny with that mm, lovely lemony smell. Now, can you see yourself using anything else? Ask for it by name. Exeja. Exeja Dichro. No more. Ro Etowa. This week, The Times brings you a unique preview of crafts for dog lovers with a spectacular war chart of 115 of the breeds competing. The Times also brings sports lovers a definitive preview to the Calgary Winter Olympics. A complete who's who, events and television guide to the games. And the Times delivers a very special section devoted to unusual, saucy, touching and tender Valentine messages for lovers. You'll love the Times this week. If your hair doesn't have it, your hair's gotta get it, get strong, get flexibility. Flex conditioner with balsam and protein protects against heat, builds body, shine. That's flex conditioner. Get strong, get flex ability. Flex conditioner, part of the flex bodybuilding system from Revlon. Whether you're running for a bus or whether you're running for president, try Mr. Perky's shredded wheat cereal. All the bran fiber of 100% whole wheat and no added salt nor sugar. Yes, folks, if you want to get ahead, get ahead. And my shredded wheat. Mm. Tree falls in, sort of it's a bit stronger. It doesn't fit properly. Let's drop the word spear. Tree ball mints are a bit bit stronger. Oh, we're spearmen! Yeah. Yeah. Tree boss women are a minty bit stronger. Tree boss women are a minty bit stronger. When you've got a chesty cough, but don't want a medicine that slows you down or makes you sleepy, there's an effective remedy that lets you keep going. Nyrolex expectorant made by Boots. That's better. When you're feeling out of order, turn to Boots medicines. Nine potato waffles, a waffle ain't versatile. Grill them, bake them, fry them, eat them. Waffle ain't versatile. Do you feel all right? Sanatogen, the favorite family of vitamins. You can't take anything away from Allinson's oatmeal. The bread, we now take it out. Now take it out.